guys. So today we are going to learn how to make a bucket list. Wait, what was that? Okay, okay. Our friendly pineapple friend has a question for us. He says, what is a bucket list? Do we make a list of our favorite buckets? No, Mr. Pineapple, we are not making a list of our favorite buckets. Let me explain. A bucket list is just a list of things that you want to accomplish before a certain time period is over. Where I live, we're not going to be in school until hopefully April 27th. And there's just not a lot to do right now. So we need to make a bucket list and let me explain why a bucket list is important. So the first thing that is helpful about a bucket list is that it gives you a purpose. It gives you a list of things that you can do um, that will be meaningful and will help you be less sad that you're missing out on things that you could be doing right now and will stamp out that boredom that I'm sure everyone is feeling. I'm going to show you my bucket list that I'm making for our break and then I'm going to give you some ideas that you can add to your own bucket list. So the way that I did mine was in groups and I decided to group them in little circles. So that's why you're going to see the can. I got a can of vegetables and tray circles around the can. You don't have to do it that way, but I just thought it would be more fun. But I made a mistake in that I over traced the circles because I thought they were going to be too small and then they were all lopsided. So I decided to start over. <laughs> Did not give up. I started over, tried it again, and this time it went a lot better. I just used the can and traced it directly with the marker to make those circles. And then after I made the circles, I traced back over them with a marker to make them look nice. And then I went in and labeled my circles. I'm breaking mine apart into five different areas, mind, body, and spirit. Spirit means it's not your mind, it's not your body, it's like your heart type thing. Then you have family. And for me, I'm gonna do a circle for YouTube. You probably wouldn't do that circle because you don't have a YouTube channel. You can just put in whatever you want um, if you do a fifth circle. And then I went back in and traced just the right side of each letter and the right side of my circles with just a fun color to make it look more colorful. For each category, I decided to put three items and starting with mine, So the first item that I'm writing down is to finish a crossword puzzle. So I really like crossword puzzles. I'm really good at starting, but I just can't finish them. So that's one thing that I want to try is to finish an entire crossword puzzle. The next thing that I want to do is read more often. So I want to try to do one book a week. Now, do you see how thick my books are? They're pretty thick. So I think that one a week is a good goal. If you have books that are shorter, then you might could read more than that in a week. So the third thing that I want to do is to organize my room. I really want to get it the way that I actually want it to be. I just haven't had time to do that. And it's really good for the mind to do that because whenever you have clean spaces and organized spaces, the more decluttered your mind will be. It will calm your mind to declutter your space. So for mine, the first thing that I want to do is go for a walk every day. And that is for me to get enough vitamin D and sunshine. And I can also get some exercise instead of just sitting around the house all day. 
The second thing that I want to do is just learn a new dance for fun. And then the third thing that I want to do is try some yoga. I'll link a video down below for some kid-friendly yoga. And that's just to learn how to stretch and become more flexible. For spirit, I thought about things that would brighten my mood. And one thing I thought about was to use my DIY, that stands for do-it-yourself kits, that I actually got for Christmas from my parents. And they look like this. There's that and even some soap making kits and if you have a christmas present you got and you haven't been able to play with it yet because you just haven't had time now's a good time to play with it the next thing that i want to do is use every nail polish that i have in my cabinet i don't know how but for some reason i have a ton and why not now we have time to use all of our nail polishes the third thing is something I really want to try like tomorrow is to turn off or kind of just put away my phone for a little while. Sometimes it's hard on your spirit to just listen to the news constantly, be on your phone constantly. And that's one thing that I want to do is kind of put it away so that I can focus on what's really important. So for family, these are things that I want to do with my family. I live with my sister, so I'm hoping that we can do a game night. And then we also maybe can make some desserts and cook together. If you put this on your list, you cannot, cannot use the stove without asking permission. You must ask permission first. So the third thing is super important to me. I want to call my grandparents, talk to them, check in on them, make sure they're doing okay, and let them know I love them. Super duper important. Call your grandparents, guys. And then for YouTube, I have a couple of goals that I thought would be fun. The first is to try to get to 55 subscribers because that's how many kids are in fourth grade at our school. And then the second to hit 1,000 views. I have almost 500 right now, so I just thought that'd be a fun number to hit. And then the third one is to try to make a video over every single math topic I've taught this year. And that way, I feel like I will be productive. Here's some ideas that you can do. Um, the first one is to color. That's my coloring book that I have. You can color in a coloring book or you can make a recipe with your family. Remember, do not touch the stove. If you do not have permission, make sure you ask permission first or do it with your parents, even better. It's also a really good opportunity to experience fractions and customary measurement look at these recipes guys you can find if you have a recipe book at your house you can go through and pick a recipe use what stuff you already have in your fridge or your pantry and go through and and make that recipe look at those customary measurements right there very cool And then you can also make a list of the movies that you would like to watch. Instead of just watching whatever, just make a list of what you want to watch and go through your list. Maybe you want to watch a list of certain types of movies. You can also finish a TV series that you're working on. You can finish that series. You can also write a story, use your imagination. And then you can put a puzzle together with your family if you have any. Good bonding experience. You can have an indoor scavenger hunt with your parents' permission with maybe your brothers and sisters. You can learn how to draw. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below for some tutorials of drawing maybe some cute animals. You can also write someone a letter. Just make sure you take the proper precautions. You can make a fort, maybe in your living room. Make sure you ask your parents first. You can enjoy nature, go outside, listen to the birds, or even go bird watching. So sit in your backyard and see if you can spot all the types of birds that are migrating at this time of year. You can also play with chalk or if you have one, you can learn how to play an instrument. Maybe you got a guitar one year for Christmas or you have a piano and you never had time to learn. Well, 
Now you have time to learn an instrument. The next one's super important, make sure you are reading. Read at least a little bit every day. It'll make you smarter. Next, you can write down your thoughts or the events that are happening right now in your life. It's kind of like making a journal. Did you know that right now we are living through history and history is passed down through written documents. So you can write down what's going on in your life and who knows, maybe you'll be in a history book one day. The next thing that you can do is go for a walk and make sure that you have parent permission or better yet, take a walk with your parents. And then the next thing that you can do is maybe learn a skill. Maybe you can learn how to shoot a free throw or you can learn how to balance a soccer ball on the end of your foot. You can also sleep. Sleep is very important. We should get lots and lots of sleep. And another thing you can do is organize your space. You can organize your room, organize your closet. Remember, a peaceful space helps you have a peaceful mind. Another thing that you can do is interview a family member. Do you know what your parents' life was like growing up? What about an aunt or an uncle or even your grandparents? You can call them over the phone and ask them questions about what life was like when they were growing up and how things are different now than they were when they were your age. Another thing you can do is make up a joke. Remember, laughter is the best medicine. And then the last thing that I hope you remember is just breathe. When you make your list, you can probably put about 10 items on it or so, but don't stress out if you don't get to all of them. Just remember to enjoy the time that you have and make good use of it. All right, guys, so here's my challenge for you. Make your own bucket list. Doesn't have to look like mine, doesn't have to be exactly the same. You can use the ideas that I gave you in the video or you can even come up with your own ideas. Just a short list of some things that you would like to do while we are home from school. And you're going to have a chance to show me your bucket list. And not only me, but also your friends in fourth grade. What? We're going to use this app called Zoom to talk to and actually see our teachers and all of our fourth grade friends. Now, it's not something that you have to do, but it would be a cool way for us to check in with you, to be able to talk with each other and see each other while still practicing safe social distancing. So what I need you to do is look in the description below and click on where it says survey. We need to know if everyone has a device that they can use. We need to know what time would work best for you. And we would want to know what days would work best for you. We're looking at doing it about once or twice a week. And it's going to be really cool and really fun. I am going to post another video sometime this week about how to use Zoom and what you have to have, what you have to do to connect with us. I'm really excited. It's going to be really cool. Please don't forget, click down in the survey and take the survey so we can figure out what would be the best way for us to connect to you. So we'll see you soon. Love you a whole lot. Bye.